And those are, I think those are a couple of real APD uh, officers uh, uh, in that uh, in that in that car uh, uh, who generally uh, they're detectives, so they get to have you know beards and whatnot. But uh, I, I believe I don't want to get this wrong, but uh, they did an excellent job. I loved shooting this scene. I just this was uh, Paul with the steady cam, right? Running back yeah, and forth. And yeah, I just love being sneaky. You oh, know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. There's just something about it. Um, and this, this is so great. The old hide a key. Um, yeah. Is it still there? This was the last thing we shot that night. God, it was it was a long, cold night. And oh, I my think, God. I remember my yeah. my fingers just being so yeah. frozen. I'll bet. And, yeah. it was, uh, and it was a, uh, I think it was a Friday night. I think we're all looking forward to, at, at, <laughs> at four in the morning, all looking forward to having a weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And then this was shot. This is a whole other location on a whole other day. This is a neat thing. This is shooting into a mirror that was tucked behind the faucet. So the camera is shooting, and then it had to be f uh, flipped on the Avid on the computer editing system. But it was there wasn't room behind the faucet to get the camera, so it's shooting into a mirror. This this house is. I think you can. I think this house is available on air. Well, maybe not uh, at the moment because, but uh, this house is available as an Airbnb house, I believe. Yeah, you can rent it. Yeah. This I love this this shot. I I love the way you play this shot. This is one of my favorites because it's it felt elegant as a wonder. It was the camera really was stuffed in a in a closet here, but uh, mm -hmm. I think it wasn't even no. Of course it was operated because it just the way it tilted up. But but uh, it, I, I love the lighting. I love the way you play it. I love being able to do this whole thing as a wonder. Which one should I take? Which one? And we come to find out that he takes them both. Oh, and I uh, easy to miss, but on the right side of the frame, in that shot that just went past, there's uh, uh, for Jesse and yeah, yeah, a much younger Jesse and his brother. The little height markers uh, written onto the uh, the edge of the door frame there. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was something I took from. Uh, Growing up, my brother Patrick and I, uh, my, my mom and dad would put the height markers on the on the you know pencil them in on the door frame. Yeah, I'm am doing that with uh with my baby with story? girl. Yeah. yeah, God, she's cute. Talk about <laughs> talk about this shot. Talk about oh, this, shot. this shot is so great. Again, uh, going back to being sneaky, just a wonder, uh, just a classic fun uh, one take. Or, I mean, just a wonder shot, but. Uh, yeah, it's so fun. This shot is so bravura, and I'd love to take credit as a director. But I had, when we were walking this location in the in the on the tech scout on the pre, you know in pre production, I remember talking to Marshall, and I said, okay, I think we'll get a shot here, and then we'll get a close up here as Jesse climbs the gate, and then we'll get a shot over here. And he and he looked around, and he was quiet, and he said, you know what, everything you're describing, I bet we could do it as a wonder. And damned if he didn't. And if you, yeah. that we're still in this one, or it started back close on your hand, checking out the, the lock, padlock, yeah. and it's still going, it's still going. And this was done on a techno crane yeah. on a on a dolly track, and it goes around, it comes around a full 360 degrees before the shot is yeah. over. So yeah. Every time I got to the point of climbing that damn fence, I just started panicking. I go, I hope I don't fuck this thing up. Um, and, you, and you didn't. This this, yeah. this is the kind of thing you would think would take 22 takes, and I think we did it in seven, I think, which for me is not that much. But look, it's still, it's still it's still going. It's, it's still, still going. going. Yeah, it's still going, and it still would have worked after we cut out of it. But I needed your reaction. I needed Jess's reaction to realizing there's more people in the building. But I would have kept. I wish I, I wanted to keep it. It it actually works. It's still going. Here it is. It's still going. And it would have gone on even after the cut point, probably another 10 seconds or more. But uh, I had to cut to get Jesse's reaction to hearing the guys whooping it up in the party because it's an important story beat. That And it's raining, by the way, that you can finally yeah, see it. Yeah, you can see it. It was raining to beat the band, but I had to cut there because otherwise 
you know, it's important to us to realize Jesse thought he was only sneaking up on one guy, but oh shit, there's uh, there's there's four other guys. These guys were great. These guys all all did an excellent job. That these so fun. Oh, and here's Dave who yeah, plays Dave. Uh, Dave is is uh, the be- the best. He's such a sweet guy, uh, and he's he's he, this we. We, we we finally have a name for him. He's the character on who we introduced on Breaking on, on Better Call Saul, Better known Call as, Saul, yeah. as Man Mountain, because I believe he is uh, he is I believe six foot ten. He is uh, he is uh, but just he's a the big su- boy. He's but just the sweetest, most gentle, uh, an excellent excellent actor. And he finally has a name now, uh, thanks to El Camino, the movie we now know from one of the, the lovely young ladies here that his name is actually Clarence. The character's name is Clarence, and it was really raining. You could see the rain coming down. Mm-hmm. It was uh, you really only see rain uh, when it's backlit, but it was raining even when you don't see it. It was raining. Now this was a very long, long night, um, and yeah. there were some 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 of your shots. I remember. Uh, needing to be cut, and there's a, a a shot right up here that's coming up um, that I really fought to keep in. I'm not exactly sure where it's. Maybe Which it's one was it? Which one it's was the it? The one with the uh, him and the beetle. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the so beetle. it's coming. It's coming, it's coming up, up after up. this. It's coming up. It's where you're playing with the beetle, and no beetles were harmed in the making. Yeah, of the no movie. beetles were harmed, but yeah. we'll talk about that in a second. But um, yeah, this, and then this is this is uh, this is inside that same Quonset hut that you saw the exterior of with the uh, the blast from the fire hose, and also when uh, you were climbing up out of the pit. Yeah. And uh, but that is a green. That is a there's a real truck out there. But behind it was a big green uh, fabric swath that onto which uh, the the green color is used to separate the image on the computer. But our, our magicians at Rodeo uh, created a digital matte painting of 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 the buildings that no longer exist in the real world, but that existed out the door of the of the lab as seen on Breaking Bad. And so, uh, and this is the other direction. This is just. Uh, uh, one of the major streets in Albuquerque is is behind the lighting, the yeah. big lights. It's just uh, it's just like a major thoroughfare. I can't remember now, which street. If you if you uh, if you rewind, you could you could notice uh, now all of this stuff. It's the it's the same tanks from uh, is, from Breaking right? Bad, and if you, I actually was just looking for it, and I think I did notice it. Maybe not, but. Um, you can still see the blood stain uh, from Walt that That's he right. leaves with his handprint. That's and I right. noticed it when we were on set. And I remember Vince saying, oh, I should probably clean this off. No, but I, no. I just can't do it. I can't <laughs> no, do it. You were you know? right. Yeah. You were right. No, I think both you and I, you, and we, we looked at it. And, and I think I was, I was thinking, well, gee, we'd better just shoot around. But it's one of our very efficient art department folks said, oh, better clean this off. It's it's c- continuity-wise, it's wrong. And you and I both said, no! No, don't, no, don't you touch. can't no, do that! No, no, no. They were just no. doing their jobs, but they didn't, yeah, it, it did yeah. not, as far as I know, it's still there. And yeah. Kevin Kevin Rankin, how great is is this guy? He's so such, great. He plays, plays such a magnificent shit. This guy, yeah. he's he's so funny, even though he's, he's so, so evil. I mean, not the real guy, the character. He's, he's so good. This yeah. was... I cannot begin to tell you how uh, painful uh, all of this yeah. was. So I'm wearing a harness, and each time I slammed against the end of this dog track, uh, my skin uh, in between the straps would get pinched and kind of, yeah. But it, this was Doug, our, our excellent uh, stunt coordinator. This was the scene in the movie that worried him the most. Because he was he he was afraid you could really, really hurt yourself, as in, as in as in break your spine doing yeah. this. So this was all hands on deck. This was Doug and his uh, and his uh, uh, excellent uh, uh, and John, his uh, uh, excellent uh, number two in the, in the stunt department, and uh, and then uh, I think it was it was obviously it was the wardrobe department. Uh, yeah. uh, Louise and 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 uh, and then it was uh, uh, God. What a great job the wardrobe Regis. folks did. 
And Regis. And Regis, Regis. Uh, your, your stuntman earned his keep on this. Cause yes, he did. This is him. I think, is that him? I think it's yeah, him. Oh, yeah, that's him. His, yeah. yeah. Any of the stuff that was not really focused. Oh, this, this, this is the shot. But any of the stuff that wasn't really focused on me, that was all Regis. I mean, he right. just yeah. abused himself. But yeah. this shot was going to make the sort of... Uh, get cut out you know and i right. just i just thought that this was like a nice sort of uh homage to earlier days in breaking bad um just his sort of gentle spirit when it comes to insects really you know he had that 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 classic scene with skinny pete uh where he wanted to just or he doesn't he ends up just smashing this bug yeah uh, in the in the the baby spooge episode <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, yes. was, that was the episode the beginning of the uh oh shoot what's the name of it but uh the the episode the, the heartbreaking episode where you, Pe you meet uh, peekaboo peekaboo, peekaboo yeah that's just all i remember is baby spooge baby spooge um by, by the way in the case of the young ladies all three of these young ladies excellent excellent job all three of them and in case they're wondering why their nudity was cut out because uh originally you hang on the window a lot longer they all look very, very beautiful indeed with their clothes off, but uh, it was a combination of the movie feeling a little long at that point and also everyone telling me I was a pervert. <laughs> so so we, we cut that part short. It's still R-rated, though, I think, for language. Wait for me. And, then that was, uh, and now we know uh, uh, Dave's name is Clarence. I want to see the three hour. I want to see the director's cut. I want to see the original cut. Can yeah. that happen ever? I well, mean, you know, you, you, you know, you don't have to show it to the. I mean, I think you should show it to the world. I think the world would like to see it. I don't but, know. You know I, this is where directors get into trouble. Uh, but some of my favorite, I'm not going to name any names, but some of my favorite directors of all time, household name directors, have put out versions of movies that they made that were and i love the original cut and then yeah. they put out the director's cut and every i i don't think i've ever seen a director's cut where i said oh the director's cut is better i part of it is you you're familiar with the uh theatrical cut but part of it too is there's a reason you cut that stuff in the first place yeah. unless unless some some you know philistine type studio executives told you to cut it uh maybe that's maybe maybe that could happen but a lot of these director's cuts I've seen of movies that I love are just, don't no, don't show me that. Cut that out. There's a reason you cut that out. Stick with your first gut gut check, your first impulse on that. Don't put all that crap back in. <laughs> and and I, I don't want to fall down that trap because yeah, I've seen no, it I, I understand. too many, too many times. But you're welcome to watch it. But I, right. thank you, I thank you. Well, I mean, certainly we do have some deleted scenes uh, available on this, on this uh, disc. Uh, that, uh, that 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 you are you have purchased, hopefully at retail full retail price. Uh, if you're if you're listening <laughs> to this, and uh, this this scene, boy, this took God. How many days did this scene take to shoot? It was four four days. Four days, four days. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Wasn't it yeah. four days? I think, I think, I think so. You're, I think yeah. you're right. And by the way, out the door there and out the windows, it was just green screen because this is on a sound stage. This is not at the actual location. And uh, boy, yeah, this boy, this took because everybody. one yeah. one full day was just uh, all the or was it one day and a half all of the gunfire stuff? Yeah, you're right. You're right. It was uh, boy, that stuff takes forever. It's 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 so much fun to watch. It's it's actually not much fun to. I mean. Did you enjoy the shootout part, or did that get old for you pretty quick? I, I mean, I, I, I love it. I mean, it's exhausting, you know, but it's, yeah. I, I love it all. Yeah. Um, well, you, you guys just did. It, it's, and it's just shamelessly, as I think I say in some other commentary uh, in another part of the disc, I, I shamelessly ripped, ripped off from uh, so many Westerns I know and love. You know, it's very Wild West. It's uh, yeah. You know. Well, you know what? You always considered Breaking Bad to be someone of a Western. I right? I do. I did, and I do, and I continue to. But you know why? Yeah. Because I don't think it would have been the modern day Western that it became if not for Albuquerque and not for New Mexico. Right. Because originally it was intended to shoot in uh, 
you know, the Riverside, the Inland Riverside, Empire of, yeah, of, of yeah. Southern California. And that, that I, I think it would have been a great place, but it, it would have been a completely different show. I'm so glad we wound up in New Mexico and it, and it, it, it made it a Western. Yeah. And, and I mean, and, and Albuquerque, um, just the skylines, it really became such a character, a big character, huge character of the show. Um, it's just so That's, so beautiful. I agree. God, this is so weird with these what the one Scott is doing to the other Scott here. I love this. <laughs> I, love I love it this. too. That's not in the script. It was just something I think it was something Scott MacArthur started to do, I think. And then I, I saw I saw something about what something he was doing there. And then I said You kept oh, leaning really? in on it. Yeah. yeah. I, le I, I had really leaned in on it. I said, No, really, go for it. Don't don't pull back too soon. And I think I did one of those dirty director tricks where I, I, I just told him secretly, and I, I didn't tell Scott <laughs> Shepard. But, uh, God, these guys are so good. I love both these guys. And the and the three the three buddies, what a great job they all did. Yeah, they really – and you had them uh, do some improv just, like, to talk um, as the scene, you know, we led into the scene. Oh, yeah, the, the opening. Stuff, the stuff that they would say, I just <laughs> – I, I, it's just out of control. I love it. I love all that stuff about you know, cocaine wasn't invented when Brigham Young was alive. You can, <laughs> you can have some. I love that. I would love to take credit for writing that. That was, uh, but that was, uh, uh, I would, I would love to take credit for all that great dialogue. But that was Brendan, who's right there on camera right now, hiding behind the uh, post. Is Brendan, Matthew, and Chris? Hold, yeah. And he 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 thought it'd be he goes I you know what if I just held on to the the drugs the whole that's time right. <laughs> and I th I personally I'm like ah oh, that's a little much you know in my head it, but then uh, once we started doing it I'm like oh that is it's just so perfect you know I, I wasn't sure about it either but I said show it to me and he made it work he made yeah. it work it you know it's just uh, because he played it not like he was such a cokehead although. He does play it like a coach, <laughs> but, but he, he played it like he'd forgotten about it, you know. Right, still, exactly. Yeah, this full-on shameless Western ripoff here, but uh, oh, it's it was so much fun, yeah, really. so much fun. And that was that was fun. That was a combination. That was squibs from our, our uh, Werner Handline and our, our, our great uh, special effects, physical effects guys, and then uh, had some digital help. But this is this is this is a bravura stuff from our physical effects guys. Our special effects guys. Man, I had so much fun with this. But that blood spatter, that is added in digitally. And then this thing, that, that frame just then where you were perfectly framed in the broken glass, that was all real life happenstance. Uh, I, I love it. That was the film God smiling just upon the, us. Those happy, happy accidents. Absolutely. And then here was another happy accident. There was glass left in the door frame we thought oh, yeah. would be gone. So on cue, a guy off camera whacked it with a stick when I cued him. And then, and then, because we only had one take at it, because once yeah. the glass was gone, it was gone. But though you, you four guys reacted to it perfectly in that one take. You did it, did it in one. Sean, Kyle. These three guys, uh, Chris, Matthew, and Brendan, I love these guys. They were so much fun to yeah, work with. They really, so much fun. And they had such a great time. We, I mean, we all did. You guys got to know each other pretty good with four days, four days yeah. straight doing this stuff. You were such a badass here. <laughs> That's all you, man. And I love that he's on fire. The and whole you are time. really, you are really on fire here. That yeah. is not that. That is not a digital effect. You are really on fire, and you reveal it perfectly at just the right moment. Brendan says it, and just as he's fit, the words are coming out of his mouth, you see the beginning of the flames there. And then we did it again. We whacked, had the guy whack, guy lying behind the desk there, uh, whacking it with the goggles Perfect on, and whacking it with a stick. Yeah, and again, one take. We only had it, only had that glass the one time. <laughs>